We are given a system of three equations in three real variables and we are asked what is the type of solution of this system whether it has unique solution, no solution or an infinite number of solutions. Now we will solve this using the matrix method. We will rewrite these equations in the form of a matrix relation that means we have matrix A 2 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 5 and 1 minus 4 1 these are the coefficients of the unknowns now the matrix this is the matrix A matrix X will be X1 X2 X3 and the matrix B will be 1 2 3 now we can see whether this system of equation have unique solution or no solution or multiple solution by checking its rank. The condition is if rank of A equal to rank of the augmented matrix A by B and if this is equal to number of unknowns that means it has a unique solution. Now, if it is less than the number of solutions, sorry, number of unknowns, then it will have infinite number of solutions. If rank of A not rank of A given B or, or the augmented matrix A B, then no solution exists. this is the condition we are going to check so we need the rank of A and the rank of given B it can be found out in a single step this rank so first we will check the case for the augmented matrix given B how can we find out we will form the augmented matrix 2 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 5 1 minus 4 1 and we have the matrix B here 1 2 and 3 now we will convert this matrix into raw echelon form by using elementary row transformation now I'm going to interchange the last and the first row to make calculations a bit more easier 1 minus 4 1 3 last row will be 2 minus 1 3 1 now we can write R2 to convert it into raw echelon form R2 can be written as R2 minus 3 R1 and R3 can be written as R3 minus 3 2 R1 so that the element below the first non-zero entry in the first row will be 0 so we have to make these two elements are 0 okay we have the first row then the second row will be 0 minus 2 minus 3 times minus 4 now we have to make the element here 0 for that we will once again do the elementary row operations that means 1 minus 4 1 3 0 10 2 minus 7 we have to multiply this 10 with 7 that means we have to multiply 10 R3 minus 7 R2 to make this element 0 so we have 0 0 the element here will be 10 minus 7 to 2 that is 14 10 minus 14 that will be minus 4 and the element here will be minus 50 minus so plus 49 that will be minus 1 so clearly the rank of the augmented matrix is 3 that is the number of non-zero elements in the raw echelon form sorry the number of non-zero rows in the raw echelon form 
so the rank of a given d equal to 3 so what about the rank of a rank of a is the number of non zero elements in a that is also 3 and since we have the condition here rank of a equal to rank of a given b and equal to number of unknowns so the system of equations have a unique solution so the correct answer is option b